What's up guys, Footballpedia here, and today I have a video on how to wear the True Socks. I mentioned that I would make this video in my last review on the True Socks, and today I'm going to make this video. I will just teach you how to wear the True Socks in a game situation. So, first off, I'll start with the materials that you need. You need a pair of cutoff socks like I have here. These are the Nike Park IV socks. Um, I got these with my team uniform. You do not need to use these socks in specifically you can use any type of socks that you have laying around. I'd recommend using an old pair because there's no need to waste a perfectly new pair. So any brand will do. Just make sure they're the same color as your true socks. Lay those down right here. Next off you'll need of course a pair of shin pads. Um, I use your standard Nike shin pads, nothing too special. Um, I'd recommend using the shin pads without any of the ankle braces or the ankle holders on the bottom since that can cause discomfort and it's very thick on your sock so I'd recommend just using the slip-in shin guards. There you go. You'll also need just a pair of Nike um, ankle braces or shin guard holders as you might call them. You can find these anywhere. They're very cheap. Five dollars I think. The Adidas also makes a pair. Doesn't really matter what pair you use. I like these more because they really hold your shin guard in place. So that's all you need. They're, they're strap on. And an alternative to this would be uh, just regular tape, like electric tape. But I feel like this is a waste um, since you have to throw it away after every time. And these just hold the shin guard much better, in my opinion. And then last but not least, you need your true socks. Just, you know, true socks, I had a review on this. So go check out that review to see more detail, details on this sock. So you'll need this sock. So here you see all the materials you need. And next off, I'll show you how to actually put these on. All right, so as you can see, I went ahead and put on my true socks. I like having the true socks about at this height, like you would put on any crew socks. Um, doesn't matter how you put them, but just make sure they're not too low, because if they're too low, you'll, your cutoff part, so your cutoff sock needs to be longer, and that's gonna be more difficult to put on. So, now that you have your true socks on, what's next? That's a good question. Next up is just putting on these cutoff socks. You'll take these socks, just put them on, and make sure they're on top of the true sock. You wrap those up as far as you can. And I like having about this high, so right before the true socks end, but not too low, so not down here, because you're gonna have to wrap your ankle brace around this, and if that's too low, it's not gonna look nice, and it's not gonna feel nice. So about this height should be fine for you. Roll your sleeve down, do the same thing with the other one. So, like I said, make sure it's on top of the true sock and not under the true sock. So like that again, roll it down. Now the next step is to take your shin guards. Here you go, got your shin guards. You can just slip those in right on top like this. Now here is where you need to be careful. You roll this back up and make sure that the true sock is under the shin guard right here where it overlaps. You just roll this sleeve right over again, and there you go. Same thing on the other one. You rolled it over. So see, see now this is denting in. What you do is you just roll the sleeve on top. Make sure that your shin guard is on top of the true sock. Roll the sleeve back down. There you go. Now, the last part you need to do is just put on the ankle braces. This is fairly simple. You put the ankle braces right on top of the cutoff of the sleeve, just like that. Same thing on this one, right on top of the cutoff of the sleeve. Okay guys, that's it. That's how you put on your true socks. Like I said, it's personal preference how high you wanna wear your ankle braces and how high you wear your shin guards. But this is how I would do it and this is how I recommend it. Hope this helped you. Thanks for watching. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up since that would really support my channel. Also, make sure to subscribe for more great reviews. Um, I have a do-it-yourself video coming up. I'll reveal that soon. Uh, also, I will do some tests and some free kick videos, so subscribe to stay tuned for that. And also, comment your opinion on how the true socks look on feet, as you can see here. That's the question for you guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time.